Hello everyone, it's a wonderful day today, beautiful weather and I thought I'd make a video today. I went to London actually, um, had an appointment and um, it was interesting, I haven't been for a, over a year I'd say now, this is central London and it was like a ghost town. Shops that I normally like to go to, they were closed down. Well, closed until further notice. And um, the shops that were open, it was kind of like that kind of uh, feeling. You know when a shop is closing down and you have the last bits of um, people around? That's what it was like, that type of atmosphere. It wasn't buzzing like it normally is. Um, and it's mostly just basically a handful of tourists. Now generally London is always buzzing. It's crowded and it's like this 24-7, seven days a week, all year round. And mostly it's with tourists. But um, um, now it was, I mean, there were a few tourists, mostly older retired people. But uh, it wasn't the same that it used to be. Um, <clears throat> it was nice in the sense that it was a nice time to shop because it was very hectic before and it's really hard to even get through the crowds normally, you know, in normal times when, when a person goes to London. But anyway, it was good in the sense that there was a few sales on um, because now the summer stock is, is, is out of season almost. Um, so, you know, it was um, it was a good day all in all and, and one thing I did notice is that, you know, it does make a difference how you dress because it's the way I dress today is why it's been a good day. I mean, I say that I don't care what people think about me, but obviously I, you know, I'm affected um, um, in the sense that my day has been a good one because... Everywhere I went, because I was dressed like a lady, um, I was respected everywhere, everywhere, you know. It was like I was welcome, welcome, the world welcomed me. And in the past I've gone to, you know, if I've gone to London, it's sort of been in casual clothes and in a hurry because, you know, normally, you know, I don't have much time around work. <clears throat> but it was such a... It was um, it was really nice. It was nice to be accepted and to be to have that feeling that people, you know, they like you around, you know, and that's ha not happened very often with me. I'm um, like I said, I sort of keep myself to myself. I don't draw much attention to myself. But even now today, I was just you know just put on a nice dress and uh, wash my hair very light makeup and um, you know it um, makes a difference and um, it was just it was just nice because it doesn't happen it hasn't happened to me in my life very much <clears throat> and um, you know kind of made made my day anyway um, the reason why I'm making the video today is because um, last week I I woke up uh, in the morning and um, my one of my breasts was quite sore and I thought I'd slept on it. <clears throat> there's a bit of pain and I think there's a lump there. So I didn't think anything of it for a couple of days. I thought, oh, I've probably just slept on that side and, and you know... Um, that's why it's a bit sore, but it didn't get any better. I mean, it was quite, it was swollen and it was painful. And I do feel a sort of lump um, behind my <coughs> nipple. So I'm not sure what it is. And it was interesting because, you know, um, I just wanted to go through um, what was going through my head. Um, you know, mentally, physically, what I was going through, 
emotionally, spiritually. <clears throat> so obviously when a woman finds a lump in her breast, first thing she thinks is, oh, is it cancer? So, you know, people start worrying. And then um, I, I've, I've looked it up, I've done a bit of research and it's possible that it could be a cyst. And they say that women do have um, benign cysts, sometimes lumps in their breasts, and usually they're harmless. <clears throat> but obviously I have to have it checked out because, you know, I have to make sure that it's not cancer. And... Um, you know, I've I've kind of I've been thinking ahead because I'm a, I'm sort of into naturopathy and um, herbal remedies, and um, so I won't I won't be engaging in any um, medicinal um, cures. Um, I think as far as I've gone. I don't go to the doctors, but as far as I've gone, as far as medicine goes, years and years ago, I think I've taken antibiotics, which I'm okay with. But other than that, I don't even take aspirin. So um, we'll see. I've got an a appointment at the hospital next week, and uh, we're going to get it checked out and see, see what happens. But... Um, I think emotionally as well, I was, you know, you kind of, again, all the thoughts that go through your head, you know, like in American Beauty, before um, the guy dies, the end, or, or his whole life goes, you know, uh, through his head, all the happy times, this and that, and what is accomplished, and what made a difference to him. And uh, it's funny, because all of these things have been coming up for me, although I don't think it's the end of me yet. <laughs> I'm not dead yet, and I don't think I'm going to be. Um, women do live through situations like this, and even if it uh, if it was cancer, which I don't think it is, um, you know, I I know actually personally of women who have survived it. And um, just give you a few scenarios. There's a lady um, on the next road, and <clears throat> the situation with her was that. Um, her breast was removed, one of her breasts was removed, but she survived it. She survived chemo. And um, she's 80 now. This is this is another lady that lives up the street. And uh, she's, you know, fit as a fiddle otherwise. Very, you know, <clears throat> healthy. And then there's another lady. The lady downstairs also told me that she had cancer. And then she didn't take chemotherapy and she survived it. And she's about the same age as well. That's around 80. <clears throat> so there's another one. And there was a friend of mine whose daughter was diagnosed with cancer at 40. And she had uh, two young children, about around the age of 10, 12, two girls. And... Um, the husband was left behind because she died because uh, she took chemotherapy and she was a smoker and the doctors told her she had a couple of months to live and she really did. She passed away in those couple of months and they didn't even, they didn't even bother trying to cure her. They said she could carry on smoking, whatever, it doesn't make any difference because she's going to die. It's so sad. And then I know of another case where this was something I read about or heard about on, on social media and this was a lady that um, was diagnosed with cancer <clears throat> and she basically was determined to heal herself and she changed her diet right away, ate healthy things and every day she would say to herself the words, I'm getting better and better every day and it's funny you know because <clears throat> People might sometimes think that affirmations don't work, you're talking to yourself, but they do work. Apparently all living things, they are affected by our words. So our body is listening. When we say things like that, our body is responding to that and it's aiding us, you know, in healing ourselves. You know, they say even if you talk to plants or animals, they understand you, you know, they make, it makes a difference. They might not be able to respond the way a human does, but every living thing, you know, if you talk to it or if you care for it, 
it does it does uh, notice that it does uh, um, it feels it you know because if it's a living thing obviously it's got it's got uh, you know some some sort of sense you know and it might not be the same as humans are but uh, there is something there and uh, so they say you know it's very good to to give yourself these affirmations every day I am this I am that whatever you want to say about yourself that's positive <clears throat> because you know you are subconsciously working towards that goal when you say that when you say I am getting better and better every day you are really getting better and better every day and funnily enough I have been saying that to myself and I have been getting better and better every day I mean I still feel the lump but the swelling has gone down I think the lump is I'm not sure if it's the same size but um, you know the swelling has gone down I feel better um, I don't think it's the end of the world and I've, I've done a bit of research so the not extra knowledge has helped me to know as well as far as food and supplements go what's good to to kind of recover from a lump in the breast if it's if it's a cyst and um, so that helps as well and I think also um, for me just um, uh, with the knowledge I have spiritually now um, you know death is not something I'm afraid of um, and it's not something I'm saying it's okay because I don't think it's my time yet I've got my life to live yet but um, you know it's not something that I would have you know I'm concerned it's not something I'm concerned about you know because I do believe that when it's when our time is up it's up you know and uh, we have to accept that but up to that time you know whenever that's going to be I don't know when it's going to be sometime in the far future obviously uh, and this is if you think that way then we you know we make a good life for ourselves now think of these ladies you know who are 80 and they you know they're they're doing just fine so you know they can survive uh, the worst case scenarios and um, you know they're still here cheerful so uh, you know work on anybody else so it's always good to think positive um, you know the the physical pain also has 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 um, decreased for me um, obviously if I press on it you know it's a, you know it's, a, it's like any other kind of sore part of the body it will hurt but uh, you know it's, it's a lot better than it was um, when it was swollen so I, I'm also um, as always trying to cut out things that aren't good for me and uh, keeping up my fitness regime and uh, carrying on with life you know so um, and I think this is what probably some women feel you know when they're given um, you know worrisome news is that um, <clears throat> they're on their own or they're going to die the worst things can happen nothing's going to happen you know we all everybody has illnesses we do recover from them and we have to have the right mindset as well you know we can't accept the worst case scenario and even if it was these women had cancer and they survived it so you know um, there's no reason why somebody can't recover from an illness um, if it is an illness and um, there's always um, herbal herbal remedies herbal herbal solutions to um, also uh, use for healing purposes again it's it's a matter of research it's doing your research and uh, making up your mind how you want to take things and um, not always uh, relying on somebody else's opinion doesn't matter if it's uh, you know if it's uh, someone in authority um, always researching uh, what is best for you because I was thinking of the lady downstairs who refused chemotherapy she must have been she said everybody she knew was, was saying to her go for the chemotherapy everybody and she didn't listen to anybody and she's she's made it through so you know you it's important to make up your own mind <clears throat> um, once you're given the information you decide how you want to go about things and personally I'm, I'm feeling all right you know I'm feeling fine it's a bit sad I think at first so I think oh my god these kind of things don't happen to me they happen to other people <laughs> 
but um, you know, uh, it's it's sort of you know things women go through as they get older. And um, just one more experience for me to share uh, with with people, so that uh, they can also relate. You know, if if they come through similar issues, um, we will do in the future. So you know, there's always somebody else that's that's experienced it, and I think that's what makes us a very good community because we can support each other, help each other out. Um, sort of provided, you know, um, sort of solutions to perhaps things that didn't work for us. And again, this is, you know, my videos generally are my own experience, you know, my own story. So, you know, I, I'm basically just telling you how I've handled things, you know. I don't, um, I don't uh, suggest that anybody else, um, you know, sort of... Uh, uh, goes about saying, oh, well, this person did this, so I'm going to do that. I think it's important to know yourself, <clears throat> know who you are, know what your choices are, and do your own research and do what's best for you. And I think that's the best way to go. But hey, um, so this is the first video on this issue. And then after I've had the hospital appointment and I know the results, then I shall make another video and let you know how it goes. But I'm not worried. You know, I'm not worried at all because I've actually thought of my life, you know, <laughs> and I've done everything, you know, the most important um, uh, human things that are, that are expected of a person. And I, I think I've done, a, I've, done, I've done a good job. So, you know, the future for me, you know, is, is very bright um, because my, my role is to help others, you know, and support others. And um, this is why I make these videos, is to encourage others as well, so that, um, you know, we can all, like I said, benefit, you know, and um, um, are able to discuss issues. And this is why it's important, you know, for people to leave comments, because once I know what other people want as well, then I can make more videos on those issues. So it's really important to have a two-way dialogue um, so that I can sort of build on, on what you'd like me to talk about. So please do leave a comment and I shall see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Thank you.